Hi, this is Valentin Sanchez, and today I'm gonna show you how to save and get data, configuration data, through the configuration management API. In this video, I would like to create a setting for where we can define a value that is going to show next hello. In this, in this case, hello world, but this is static. We want the use that the user defines that value. And to start, we're gonna create a new route. So we're here, let's say my model, my model dot form sorry, dot form path admin config let's say my model default title my model settings And instead content when I say form because it's gonna be a form setting so form Drupal my model form my model form so requirements permission access administration pages we save this now if we clear all caches it's cleaning all caches go to the to the path when I get that error because we didn't create the the form yet so to create a form a setting form we have to go to our CRC directory create a new folder called form and inside we're gonna create the the file that's gonna be the name of our class dot php php con File file contains this money hey name space Drupal my model my model form I'm gonna use two class that that are defined in the Drupal core. They are Drupal core form config form based and the Drupal core form form state interface interface. So we're gonna find our class class my model for and it stands from config for base now if we refresh our our path we're gonna get an error because we have to define at least one strat method that is defined in the config for base I'm gonna do that it's public function uh, get form ID. I'm gonna return the ID for the for the form. I'm gonna be sorry if I forget this. Inherit dot. I'm gonna say return my model my model form. So. 
if we refresh this page we're gonna get our our settings our settings page and a button that is built by the parent of our class that is config for base this button is defined in the method config and build form that we can redeclare in this way to create our a text file for the for the value that we want to that we want the user in enter we're gonna say it, so public function build form in here we we need two parameters that is that an array called form and form an uh, object of form state interface called for a state so here we gonna say it for in the position the, the my model text this is gonna be the ID for our text file for a file is an array you're gonna pass the type we want the user y so is this is gonna be a text file text file with a title let's say this in this case we're gonna call let's say your name in this case we are, we are using the t the table function that is defined in the config form based from config form based class so for that we use this t and I'm gonna say default default value and I'm gonna write just work size size I'm gonna say like a size of 10. So now if we refresh our page, so we have an error in the line 27. Yes. Mm, ah, I forgot about this. We don't have anything because we have to return the form, but we want to return this file that we create here and the bottom that is built in the build form of our parent class so we want to re we want we're going to return the form that our parent is going to create so let's say parent build form and pass form and form state so if we refresh our page we have a word here now if we change for example in GBZO we're gonna get war again here because the, the default value is war for this video we want to save the value that the user entered here so now we're going to use the the config configuration management API and save the value in the meadow submit form then we need right now. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It's inert. Inert dot. Let's say it public function submit form. And here, on the right by reference, call form. An object of form state interface state so this method is called when the form is submitted so when the form is submitted we're gonna have our value that the user enter here enter here so we're gonna say that the first thing we're gonna do is to create an object 
that is going to be this comfit this object is gonna be a uh, an object of views from the from the configuration management API and we're going to use this variable to set data and store in the configuration management so let's say this config that is a metal build in the parent in the parent in our parent class and here we have to pass a par as a parameter then you know, for example I'm gonna show you configuration 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 management he single import export export and for example let's go for example we have 16day.day 16.div 16.file this the convention for the for create a configuration configuration is the name of our model dot what the configuration is going to say what kind of data for example we're going to site this is the model system and the site is the value of the data from the site so let's say that we're going to save settings for our model let's call my model so we write my model the name of our model dot settings here now I want to call the metal set just establish the the value that the user enters so let's say set text for example this this method needs two two parameters one is the name or the or the of the file in this case for example oed U, U, ID, name mail so we want we want we want to call it text and the value that we're gonna store we get using for state get value they're gonna get the value of the oh the, the value that the user enter so we have to use the ID that we gave to the file so copy this and here for example if you have more value you can that just do this name for example and for a state but yeah we just have one value to store so we want to save the value and now if we refresh our model we're going to change this gbso in a state configuration we're gonna get work again but if you go here and go we're gonna have a new configuration that is my model dot settings and we have text dot gvos now we want this value has the the value that we have we have in the text so for that we're gonna replace this default value with a call that is something similar actually this on on the same that we did before that is this config my model dot settings in here we're gonna config get I wanna get the value call store in text so now if we refresh this we have dbso now we for example test we have text and we go here change uh, all settings text so the next thing is make this work we want hello text for example here hello gbso for that we're gonna go to our controller and here we're gonna create our config 
Drupal Confit My model Dot settings Here we are using the static method that for of the Drupal class to use our uh, to get our settings value from this my model the settings and we store in our object. In this case it's different because we are calling a a defined method a method a method that is defined in our parent class that use dependency injection. Actually we can do the same that as here but the preference is to make this because we have to use the dependency injection way so here we have our config Drupal config and we're gonna replace this for a uh, config and we're gonna get our file text again and say it mm, here so we will refresh our page we have the this message cool this is working the next the last thing that we want to show I want like to show you is how to create the file value from this from the from the installation of the model for example when we install our model we, we want a defined value then you want to have our configuration so for that we have to create a new directory in our raw directory called config and inside a new folder sorry folder called install and on file a file with the same convention, the name or a model, and what this configuration is for. So my model settings and this file extension why and all. Here we say text it's gonna be the the, the default is gonna be work. So we say this, but to make this work, we need to reinstall our model. So we're gonna go to uninstall my model uninstall 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 so mm. so we now go here and refresh this page our my model dot settings was deleted in the now we are going to install again our model so my model save configuration it will be installed so Down. So if we refresh this page, we have our my model dot settings. We click on it. We have our default value that we define in our my model dot settings dot yml file. So if we refresh this page, we're gonna get a hello world. That is all for today. Thanks for watching. This is Valentin Sanchez.